అందరికీ నమస్కారం డాక్టర్ తమిళ్ సాహి సౌందర్రాజన్ జీ ఆనరేబుల్ గవర్నర్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ చీఫ్ రెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ జస్టిస్ ఎల్ నరసింహారెడ్డి జీ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ ప్రొఫెసర్ బీజే రావుజీ రిజిస్ట్రార్ ఆఫ్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ డాక్టర్ దేవేష్ నిగంజీ డిస్టింగ్విష్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ మెంబర్స్ స్టాఫ్స్ మైండ్ యర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ పేరెంట్స్ అండ్ గార్డియన్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మీడియా ఐఎమ్ హ్యాపీ టు బి పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ట్వంటీ సెకండ్ కన్వోకేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇట్స్ ఎ స్పెషల్ ఒకేజన్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఆఫ్టర్ త్రీ ఇయర్ after covid 19 pandemic we all are here again to celebrate the our achievement lot of student has been conferred different kind of degrees phd scholars are here post graduation students are here we all honor them we all recognize their academic achievements today in this convocation for a student convocation is a major milestone in their career they change the track from learning to practice today all you all are here to celebrate your achievement friends we have as vice chancellor sir said due to pandemic we could not organize this program more than 4800 students were given conferred degrees on this convocation more than 500 students are physically present here i can see the mood of the students and other dignitaries it's a long program like covid 19 i would not take much of your time i'm happy this institute is gradually emerging as a center of excellence institute of eminence and i am confident this institute is going to so a slight it will be torch bearer in the knowledge based economy in the 21st century more than 150 research paper several new buildings progressive students faculty performance other transformational change in the academic culture of university of hyderabad awards like visitors award jc was fellowship bhatnagar award prime minister research fellow jrf all these are the feather in the university's cap this shows the this hyderabad is known as city of decorative pearls now this university is in a way is a inter city of intellectual pearls i congratulate all of you friends today we all are in the period of navaratri nep is implemented in country since last 3 years lot of new features are there in nep mother tongue local language multidisciplinary course approach academic bank of credit student registration process impacting education through technology multiversity concept research centric 
and all the education should be in a way contextualized in the era of our local economy. The country is going to be a big economic superpower in already it is an economic superpower. We have surpassed UK recently as the fifth largest economy in our country. Friends, unless until the society prepare itself, the society will be only be prepared through knowledge and education. Today is an important day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today morning only dedicate 5G network to our countrymen. By end of 23, two things will be there. All the 600 villages of this country will be digitally networked through internet fibers, optical fibers. And 5G rolling will be there. 5G rollout will be there in the, all the three major telecom companies and one among, one among them will be indigenous one. BSNL will add up the indigenous technology developed by our own IITs. Then this country is going to be a technology superpower. Not only an economic superpower, it will be a technology superpower, digital economy, emerging technologies, financial instruments like UPI, affordable and in improved healthcare system. I congratulate the city of Hyderabad. City of Hyderabad is known, recently is known for its IT capacity. But also, Hyderabad emerging as one of the medical technology center of the country. Bharat Biotech has developed an indigenous vaccine in this city only. This is the outcome of our research and knowledge-based economy. I am happy to see today a lot of girl students have been honored here in the different area of their own competency. Now there are 7,50,000 women self-help groupers there. 7.5 million women help groups are self-help groups are there and women are is going to play a major role in our country's economy well-being. Our entire world is concerned about climate change. How do we move forward? I was talking to Justice, our Chancellor, sir. He was mentioning me now climate is erratic also in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana area, also in Hyderabad city. How do we face that? Well to do people, money, people can face the challenge of climate change. But how the poor man, how the changing agricultural behavior, how the new food pattern, how the disease emerging out of this climate concern will tackle. Society is looking towards knowledgeable people and knowledgeable people are in universities. We are talking about a knowledge-based economy, we are aspiring to be an economic superpower unless until we have innovation and entrepreneurship aspiration we cannot move forward. We have to create more wealth creator. We have to create more job creator than job seeker. Then only our Indian society will grow. Friends, India is a very old civilization. Thousands of years ago, scientific and docu documentary evidences are there. How rich we were and we are today with our linkages in all aspects of life. That is precisely known as Indian knowledge system. From values, from science, from technology, from healthcare system, nowadays, especially after COVID-19, scientists are proving 
the Indian way of life, the Indian food habit, yoga, Ayurveda, the traditional medicine, the herbals are the reality of modern life. We have to promote the Indian knowledge system with a modern context. Entire world is looking towards India for its aspirational society. The see, entire world is affected by COVID-19 economic crisis. After Ukraine-Russia conflict, the entire globe supply chain is disrupted. Food commodities in scarcity. Energy is a costly commodity today. These two commodity affects the global economy. But with all such challenges, how Indian economy is thriving, we are holding the ground. I can ag accept, I can agree, some challenges are there. But with our limited resource, with our limited systems, Indian society is moving ahead. Our economy fundamentals are very strong. Entire global authorities are accepting this reality. This is not only credit of a government. Friend, this is a credit of the society. Because we want to move. We are an aspirational society. To take care of all these signs in the occasion of Navaratri, whether it is digital based society or whether it is aspirational society. Now we have to, the entire society is looking towards knowledgeable people. And university like Hyderabad, University, University of Hyderabad are one among the premier institute of country. Friends, country is entering the Amurta Kal. Next 25 years is very important for all of us. For me, national education policy is not a booklet. It's not a 60-page document. It's a philosophy for entire community, the entire humanity. I'm consciously saying India's responsibility is to take care of the entire globe's concern. Whether it is climate, whether it is value system, whether it is peace and harmony, whether it is health care system, whether it is economy model, India is going to be the benchmark of the globe. And NEP is the philosophical document to create global citizens. Where do global citizens will be educated? In university like Central University of Hyderabad. Friends, I extend all cooperation and with this expectation, when we'll completing next 25 years, when we'll be celebrating our 100 years of independence, India is going to be the leading light of the humanity. And I'm sure University of Hyderabad will be one among the major epicenter of this transformational knowledge-based society. I congratulate all of you, especially my young student friends. Your responsibility is more. You are entering to a area of responsibility. Now the days of joy and pleasure is over. You have to give back to the society. Dr. Ambedkar has envisioned a system of education, education system, where his basic expectation was the knowledge is such the recipient should give back to the society unless until he or she give back to the society it's a waste so friends you all are not waste you all are our precious asset with these few words I congratulate all of you in your new and prosperous career. Thank you, friends.